All right, we want to simplify the expression. Um, we see that the one part is raised to the first power, so that's really just the same. You know, it doesn't change anything. So we can get rid of those parentheses and just write it out like this. x to the 3 eighths, y to the negative 1 half, x to the negative 1 fourth, y to the negative 5 sixths, all over x to the negative 5 eighths, y to the 1 half. So it would be very important to have a calculator that can handle fractions for you. So in the top, I've got the like variables x and x, so I need to add their exponents since we're multiplying the bases. So I want to take 3 eighths and add negative 1 fourth, and my calculator tells me that's the same as 1 eighth. So that's x to the 1 eighth. And I'm going to do the same thing with the y's. I'm going to add the negative 1 half plus the negative 5 6. And my calculator tells me that's a negative 4 thirds. All right, we haven't done anything with the bottom yet. For that, we're going to use the quotient rule, which, as you recall, you want to subtract the exponents now. So I have 1 eighth minus a negative 5 eighths. That's going to be a positive. 6 eighths, which reduces, but we'll do that in a moment. And then negative 4 thirds minus a half is a negative 11 six. All right, so uh, 6 eighths is the same as 3 fourths, and um, the negative 11 six exponent tells me that the y to the 11 six belongs on the bottom because generally you don't want to have any negative exponents. So this is what you want to put in.